Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Clarissa here in the prayer closet. So I wanted to give a demonstration on how to use the emotions card deck. Um, I am having a rough day today. I um, am feeling disappointed and instead of going to other things um, I'm gonna go to God first and give it to him so how I use these cards are whatever I'm feeling uh, right now I'm feeling uber disappointed I thought that <sighs> this something that I really wanted to do was going to come up for me and it was going to open up some doors and I thought I was going to be able to do some things and I got a note today saying that it wasn't available anymore and that I couldn't do it and it's super disappointing because it was something I was really looking forward to I bought stuff to do this and I'm not getting to do it anymore so I'm really disappointed so instead of sitting in my feelings about it I'm gonna go to God and so I'm gonna go to the emotions card deck and I'm going to find the emotion that I'm feeling um, inside the card deck. Uh, they have the different feelings. Um, right now, I'm feeling discouraged. I think discouraged um, is a good way to describe how I'm feeling today because... I really thought that this was going to be a big break for me, but no. So on the card, it has the other feelings that go with discouraged. So maybe if discouraged isn't describing what you're feeling, there's also disappointed, um, inadequate, and depressed on there as well. So those are different feelings. And if you want to go to the actual scripture for that you can go there um on this card um or we have the cards that go with the discouraged feeling as well um <sighs> this one says not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves but our competence comes from God. And that's 2 Corinthians 3, 5 in the New International Version. This other one says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap harvest if we do not give up. <sighs> says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy Deuteronomy thirty one eight. In a new international version. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33 in the New International Version. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but he will rejoice over you with singing. Amen. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Psalms 46, 1 through 2. We are hard-pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed,
but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 through 9, and the New International Version. Lord, I give this situation to you. I put it at the altar. I let you have it, Lord. Because you are sovereign. You know everything. And there's a reason that I'm not supposed to do this. And I'm going to trust you in your will, dear Lord. <sighs> so, Lord, give me peace that surpasses all understanding. And a joy that's indescribable that only comes from you. Lord, I thank you for all that you have done for me. In Jesus' name I pray and give thanks. Amen.